breaking news my wonderful people nigeria every single day is becoming unsafe 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 and the degree is getting higher and higher and higher you won't believe it three the the presidential guard troop was attacked by bokos and three of the soldiers were injured so i mean do if the presidential guard troop they're already infiltrating or trying and just exercising and seeing you know how porous it is what they can do okay and how far they can go okay so if these are happening that means they are already going into the presidency and um, like they released the video saying that uh, president muhammad buhari and um, aero five was their next target because what they promised them initially they failed to fulfill their pledges and what they agreed upon and so the next if these things are happening my wonderful people so what what can we really do the presidential uh convoy this are his troop the troop the presidential troop let's get all the details three soldiers injured as gunmen attack the presidential guard troop <laughs> nigerians god help us three soldiers of the nigerian army guard brigadier seven Bachinium have reportedly sustained injuries in an ambush by gunmen in Abuja. They don't enter Abuja. Mm -hmm. The battalion in a, in a unit under the guard brigade, which is responsible for protecting the president. The soldiers, according to source within the military, were said to be on a routine patrol around 4 p.m. on Sunday along the Kabuo Bariwi Road when they ran into the ambush by the Bokos. The source said the area of the ambush showed the target of the ambush may not have been the Nigerian law school location in the area. The soldiers, however, were said to have successfully failed the attack while the wounded persons were immediately rushed to the hospital, receiving treatment at the army hospital. Details on the extent of the injuries we are still confirm we are under confirmation, a source has said. Oyema, Ami's spokesperson, was not immediately available to comment on the attack. The development comes amidst recent reports of a depression of Nigerians in Nigeria's national capital. Even in the capital now, they don't start to the adult people. On Monday, the Ministry, the Ministry of Education has ordered the immediate closure of the federal government college, care only in the federal capital territory over security threats. And this people has promised to come grab more students and cause more devastation in Abuja. In a statement issued on Monday, Ben Gonda, Director of Press and Public Relations in the Ministry of Education, attributed the decisions to, uh, to a security breach in communication around the school. Meanwhile, earlier in July, the correction facility in Koji Area Council was attacked by gunmen and hundreds of inmates, including suspected vocals, has escaped. This is now a push to the presidential to get the president. So I don't know what else to say to you on a more serious note. We need to look at it together, together, me and you. We need to look at it. Now they are pushing, okay? The so-called security of Nigeria is now, you know, is gradually, is gradually being tested. And then they want to see how they can finally infiltrate and get the president. By the time they get the president, you know, by now Buhari should have declared a failed state. But still he has refused to declare this failed state, okay? He has refused. He has since, you know, pretended as if he's not aware of what is going on. In fact, the last statement he made that we, we could hear because he, he hardly speak the man. Uh, he has few words in the, I think he has finished speaking all the words that God gave him to speak on earth. So very few is left. So his mark is really, really, he only speak when absolutely, completely, totally necessary. Even when the army, you know, when the wife was complaining, you know, that, ah, they have taken all the men, you know, ah, we are no longer in charge. You know, the guy did not speak. One word the guy did not say because um, he can no longer speak. Okay, he can't speak. The words are so, uh, like I told you, maybe it's about 100 he has left. So he has to be careful not to spend all of them. Well, in the federal capital territory now, schools are being shut down. Mm, because uh, even President Muhammad Buhari's uh, troop, 
that protect him or those that protect the president, they are under siege. They were attacked and um, only three, uh, three sustained injury. And, you know, we don't know if anyone died. They didn't tell us if anyone died. But this is what is happening. And Nigerians, it is hard time you begin to look and see for yourself until we all begin to rise up together and refuse these terms of, you know, oppression being instigated against us as a nation. Then you know that there is serious call for concern. Every one of us must do what is absolutely right and necessary to ensure that we come out of what we have today. Otherwise, we will all live with the consequences of the actions that we are, you know, decisions we are taking today. If we don't speak, it means that we are quite happy with what is going on. And so we don't want anything to uh, alter or change the status quo. So we need to be careful, okay? In our delivery, in, our, in our, uh, whatever we're doing, we need to be very careful. Because today, right now, right about now as we speak, you can see that... Um, Buhari's administration has not only failed, it has destroyed Nigeria in no small way. It has not just failed, it has destroyed Nigeria in no small way. This is why, you know, uh, you, 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 we must be careful. Mm, we must be careful. The people we are, we are allowing, okay? <laughs> the people we are allowing to become president and what have you, we must be careful. Who are these people? Okay? Who are these people? Who are these people? So this is what is happening right now and why every one of us, we've got a call of duty to ensure that we rise up for what is right and refuse oppression that is being instigated at us by some persons and some people. You know, Nigeria has come through a lot. As a nation, we've come through a lot, a real lot, okay? And um, it, it is what it is. And it is also very important that every one of us begin to see Okay, I really understand that, you know, Nigeria as it were, if we don't rise up together as one, if we don't begin to ensure, okay, that, you know, some certain attributes and things that are going on, you know, are, are, are taken out, we might be shocked by some of the things that will follow. You see, Buhari's administration has failed, yet they come to tell us that they want to lead Nigeria. And I wonder why some people, okay, are, are still confident in a government which has no iota of concern for Nigerians, a government that has failed, a government that continues to fail, and yet we all keep quiet and pretend as if all is well. The time to arise, the time to make sure things are done decently and in order is now. Okay? Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Bye.